Okay. Hello guys, so this is the Galaxy M10 and today I will show you how to root the spawn using the latest stock firmware okay. when I make this video, the stock firmware is on Android 10 One UI Core version 2 and Binary 7 okay. it, is, uh, it has been tested and the Magis is working properly Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum. Meet again with Om Bob. Okay, this time we have uh Samsung phone that we are going to try to read it. Okay, this is the Galaxy M10, and it's using the latest stock firmware. When <clears throat> when I'm making this video, okay. So let's check it out. Go to the settings and about phone. You can see this is Galaxy M10 with the code name is M105. Okay, let's check so for information. It's based on unwritten and one UI, UI core 2.0. Okay, <clears throat> so before you begin, make sure you have unlocked the pawn. Okay, it's very simple. All you need to do is go to the settings and <clears throat> what pawn, go to software information, and we'll see in here the build number. So I just hit it five times one, two, three, four, five. Go back, go back again, and goes to the developer option. Okay, <clears throat> you can see in here the OM unlock is already turned on. So if you haven't unlocked, is it is in off position. Okay, when you turn it off, <clears throat> the pawn will ask to format the data. Okay, just accept it and make sure you have backup all your data. Okay, yeah, and then will be rebooted formatting the data and unlock the pawn okay that's all so you unlock you're ready to go to root the pawn okay as usual we need to go to the download mode okay so let's turn up the phone and then <clears throat> let's go to the download mode by pressing the volume up, volume down, and then plug the USB cable. When you see the screen, just press the volume up once, and you're good to go to the download mode. Okay, this is the download mode. The blue screen with the downloading text. Okay. Okay, now let's switch the screen and <clears throat> let's open the manager. And this is the <clears throat> this is the stock ROM that we have for the pawn. Okay, if you you can try it with another stock firmware, but you can also press the same firmware like I do. Okay, and this is the custom recovery. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, the first thing you need to know is you should extract the firmware. Go folder like this. Okay, I have extracted all the files into this folder. And after that, <clears throat> uh, you need to open the AP file. Okay, this one. Okay, I will remove the all files. Okay, so open the IP folder right here. You'll find the recovery.emg.lz4. Okay, just extract the file and open the recovery.emg. Okay, you will find this file folder. Ah, uh, sorry, <coughs> you will find the recovery.emg. Okay, just extract file again and then you need to compress the file using a tar format. Okay, you can 
do this using the 7 zip okay or open a file extract and compress okay let's open the 7 zip and <clears throat> click the recovery.emg right click select 7 zip menu and add to archive okay then we need to change it to the uh tar okay this one okay and you'll find you recovery dot tar <coughs> you just have you just created the file okay we are using this one okay okay that's is the first step and after that you need this custom recovery okay is uh, so we need to recovery the stock ROM recovery and the custom recovery okay <clears throat> and this is the steps okay uh, after that open the audience goes to the option tab right here and check out reboot and select the AP okay so we're going to press the custom recovery right here set the AP button and paste the path okay open and open recovery dot uh, tar okay <clears throat> after that we need to flash using the audience okay just hit the start button okay it's passed it means that we have succeed and let's switch the screen again okay after this we need to go to the uh, custom recovery okay now we need to force reboot the pawn by pressing the volume down and the power button okay and after the pawn rebooted quickly switch the volume down to volume up uh, while you st uh, while you still pressing the power button okay Okay, nice. Now we are in the custom recovery. Okay, let's uh, plug in the USB cable again. This time we need to format the data. Okay, so just swipe it, go to the wipe menu, format data button, and tap yes. Okay, hit enter. <coughs> and then hit the home button again select reboot and recovery okay just uncheck all of the options and hit do not install okay and after this make sure you don't wipe the delphic cache and data okay this one usually after we format data we need to go to the wipe menu right here Events wipe and wipe the three items Delphic, Cache, and Data. But this time, uh, you should not do it, okay? Because we want to flash the stock recovery, okay? Okay, now we are ready to install the images, okay? But because the pawn doesn't support the MTP, you should copy the images using the SD card or simply using the ADB set lot, okay? I uh, will change the contrast. For this for this therapy so it will uh, look better maybe <laughs> okay nice <clears throat> so now go to the advanced menu uh adb side load and swipe it okay uh, you can see now we are in the adb side loading mode okay let's find the mages okay this is the latest one Open Windows Terminal or PowerShell and just type adb space site load space uh they can drag the images file okay this is canary base
Okay. <clears throat> now it's installing the Magis apps. And for the next step, we need to boot again into the download mode. Okay, it's finished. Now uh, let's go to the download mode again. Uh, sorry. Okay. Hit the home button, select reboot, and select the... Uh, there is no download mode right here. <laughs> so we're gonna simply turn off the pawn. And we're going to boot into the download mode manually. Okay. So <clears throat> when the pawn already turned off, just to follow them up, follow them down, and after that, uh, plug the USB cable. Okay, uh, after that, press the volume up. Now we are in the download mode. Okay, let's switch again the screen. Uh, the next step is flash the uh, sock recovery. Okay, so we it in again. Where is it? Uh, I didn't know. Okay, this one. And then, uh, let's find the stock recovery. Okay, this is the stock recovery. Just copy the path and just go to the IP button again. Hit the IP button, paste it, and find the recovery dot R. Okay. Then, <clears throat> let's start. Finish and the pawn is automatically rebooted. Okay, let's wait. Okay, after that, it will boot into the stock ROM. We need to wipe the cache and data. Okay, just move the <clears throat> menu using the volume button. Okay, select wipe cache partition. Okay, is power button okay? Select yes, and after that, wipe data and factory reset. Okay, hit the boot system. Now we will wait. Okay, now the pawn is uh, going to start. Okay, in Android Wizard. Okay, just select the language. Where is it? Uh, and just hit next, next. Okay. And before it, uh, when after we have our uh, formatted data using the stock recovery it takes time about 15 minutes okay so please don't be panicked all you need to do is wait the pawn until it puts into the android wizard okay okay don't forget to set the region And now we are already in the home screen. Okay, you can see right here there is already Magis apps, but still in the robot icon. Okay, so all you need to do is you need to connect to the internet using the Wi Fi or SIM card, whatever, and then open the Magis 
create will download protein file will as upgrade to magis okay just hit ok it will download and uh, i need to remind you that you need to connect to the internet first okay uh, just hold about one two minutes okay because sometime when you reboot the pawn after you root the pawn and reboot the pawn and it's not it, it's still not connected though i am unlock will lock the pawn okay so you will get boot loop <laughs> okay guys Okay, now it's already installed. And as usual, it requires additional setup. Just hit OK. It will boot the pawn. Okay. For the third time, uh, I need to tell you after you going to the Android home screen. Uh, directly connected to the internet white for one two minutes after that install the magis apk and after that you can restart your pawn okay it's important Now we are back in the home screen. Okay, let's open the magis. And it will show you that the magis has been installed, the latest version. I'm making this video, okay? Let's open the checker just for fun. Hit check and granted, okay. Ah, uh, you can see now your SM. M10 or Galaxy M10 is rooted on Android 10. Okay, on the stock stock ROM. Okay, and if you want to hide the mages, you can simply open the mages, go to the settings and activate the Zygis, and also hide the mages apps. Okay, I will not cover that one. You can check my other video in the description box. Okay, on how to hide apps from mages using the design guess, okay so that's all guys <clears throat> i hope you like my video if you like please give it a thumb uh, i also have a last video about routing and custom rom please check my other video okay and if you subscribe <clears throat> it will make me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys stay safe stay healthy and wassalamualaikum